All right, so this is what Feedly looks like. Um, it has a prompt for me to upgrade. I'm not sure why uh, I would do so. I could turn off ad blocker, and I guess re refresh the page. Um, and yeah, you'll see kind of these ads come up here, one, one for honey, I guess. Uh, but again, with, with uh, ad blocker on, uh, you shouldn't see any ads, which is fantastic. So anyway, I have, I have mine organized kind of with my YouTube subscriptions. Uh, there's some academic journals, all of which are, are read currently. Uh, but if I, if I kind of break this out, I could look at the, the NBER, uh, their working paper series, and uh, it's, it's pretty slick, right? So, um, you know, about once, once a week, they, they publish new feeds, and this is kind of all the cutting edge research people are working, working on. Um, and, you know, I could just hit, uh, the, the shortcuts are J and K. Uh, J goes down the list, K goes up the list. I could just hold down J, and let's say there, there's a, uh, a paper here I'm interested in looking at, so I could pull this up and download the paper. Um, so, you know, use it for, for a bunch of journals. Uh, for YouTube subscriptions, it's, it's pretty slick. Uh, here's this, this guy, uh, this kind of world-class climber. I think he's the best climber in the world. Uh, here's this RSS feed. Um, and it's, uh, it's pretty fantastic. So, um, yeah, here's, here's all the, the, the videos he's put together. Uh, so if I want to watch this, uh, here he is climbing in Chile. I could either watch I could either watch it in the video or I could pop out to YouTube here. Uh, so so the function of the RSS feed or, or uh, feed is just to alert me of uh, of new videos of people. Um, so let, let's kind of show you how to do that. All right. So let's say that uh, I want to subscribe to to TED Talks. Let's say or TEDx. So I think what we do is we go to TEDx Talks here, just the parent level page. Um, I don't think we need to click videos, but we can do this. We can copy this URL here, and then we could go down here to, to here and say, I want to now subscribe to TEDx Talks right here. Um, it looks like there's 2,000 other followers in Feedly, uh, so that looks good. If I want to follow them, I click this, and I would go ahead and add them to my YouTube subscriptions. And sure enough, uh, TEDx talks now are uh, on my RSS list. Um, I mean, it looks like these guys are pumping out, I don't know, dozens of videos a day. So that's going to be overwhelming to me. So I'm going to go ahead and unfollow them. Uh, but that's, I mean, that's that's the gist of this. Um, so uh, let's see what we can do. We could do uh, Denver Craigslist. I spelled that. So let's, uh, let's say that we are interested in buying a mountain bike. And uh, I guess I was in housing here. I need to, to go to for sale. Mountain bikes are popping up. Um, let's say that we want there to be an image. And let's say I'm, I'm interested in buying a high-end bike. So we'll put a minimum price of, say, 500 bucks and update this search. If I wanted to, we could get fancy. And we could put in like a, a radius from a zip code or whatever. But let's say that, that this is the query that I want. In fact, I mean, just to make it super specific, let's say that the, the max budget I have is six, uh, $550. Um, to show you the functionality of this. So, so here I'm only going to see bikes in the 500 to 550 range. And of course, we haven't done any geographic filters or anything yet. Uh, but if we if we go to to Chrome and say Control F right to pull up this, and uh, and type in RSS at the very 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 bottom of this page, uh, you're going to see this this RSS uh, link. So you can go here and copy and paste this into Feedly. And uh, sure enough, uh, we can follow this. Um, it looks like I don't have like as far as the folder organization structure in, in, in uh, terms of Feedly, uh, I don't have that. Uh, I don't have a Craigslist uh, folder yet, so I can do that, and then uh, and that would show up right here. So here, 
uh, there are going to be mountain bikes that pop up on the Denver Craigslist area from five hundred dollars to five fifty. Um, and again, I mean, what's what's really cool about this is you don't have to actively be wasting your your life on Craigslist, but but if you want something, uh, you know, and, and are, are patient and can wait. Um, you know, you're you're going to be able to, to kind of see what's popping up. Of course, uh, you know this this doesn't strike me as a huge value for 500 bucks, uh, but yeah, you get the idea. Um, it's it's kind of a cool tool. So, uh, you know, I, I've used this quite a bit throughout uh, throughout my life. I'm going to un, unfollow that. Uh, another cool tool that I like um, is Slick Deals. And I bought my mountain bike through through this trick here uh, a few months ago. So um, if you're in the, the the market for a mountain bike, um, mountain bike, you can type that in here. And you know, so here are people basically a bunch of frugal weirdos uh, obsessed about getting the the best deal ever are kind of posting here. And you can see that this query is going to lead to a little bit of junk, right? And that like, there's like Red Bull, you know, I guess mountain biking collections and dropper seat post and, and whatever. Um, but, but let's say that, you know, similar to before, let's say we're looking at a high-end bike. So we'll put a minimum filter of 500 bucks on. And then Right over here, you know, this this kind of sorts or queries on how popular the deal is. So, you know, if, if five people have upvoted it, you click that. Um, you know, I think popular deals is, is kind of a sensible uh, query to put on there. Um, so then I, I don't know what the exact threshold is for this, but, you know, a fair amount of people will have upvoted this. Front page, I guess, is even, even better than that. Uh, so... So yeah, so, so let's say that this, uh, you know, this is showing up some bikes that, that look good. Uh, this, this bike uh, from about almost a year ago is the one that I actually pulled the trigger on, a uh, carbon hardtail bike uh, for 800 bucks, uh, plus a little bit in shipping is, is a pretty good deal. Again, I mean, I was in the market for a new bike and that just came up and, and it seemed to work great. So, so kind of like before we've applied these filters, um, and I'm going to go ahead and, and, and click this RSS link right here. And again, this is just complete and utter gibberish, uh, but it doesn't matter because we just grab that URL up here and we add it to our, uh, we add it to our, uh, our Feedly subscription here. So uh, here we are, we're going to follow. I have a subcategory for slick deals. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and look at the queries of this. So, um, so again, the, the query is not going to be perfect. For some reason, the term mountain bike uh, pulled up this, uh, this iPad thing. Not sure exactly what's going on there. Uh, but if we go back here, uh, we should see other bikes starting to pop up like this one right here. Uh, this popped up a few days ago uh, where people are reporting this is a, a decent deal. So that is uh, RSS feeds in a nutshell. Um, I mean, pretty much any website will have this. Uh, I really like this Humans in New York uh, blog and, and photo whatever. Um, it's it's just really good. These these it's transitioned into a basically a place for people to share kind of one or two paragraph biographies, and you just get to learn about people from from all walks of life. Um, <laughs> there's a cool uh, blog I follow. This guy by the name of Tom Evans. Uh, he posts. He just camps out in Yosemite Valley and takes pictures of of El Cap and uh, a bunch of people like climbing and stuff, and he. He reports on their their trip progress um so yeah i mean there's there's no shortage of, of stuff you could uh subscribe to and, and so on so um yeah, i think you'd be crazy not to utilize rss feeds i can't i can't understand why they're in decline i, I think people's attention spans are, are going down with the advent of, of twitter and so on but i mean this to me is just the, the best way of subscribing to something that you're interested in so hopefully that was helpful if not 
you've wasted 10 minutes of your life. Bye.